Hello and welcome to the second attempt at recording. So, first time we ran into a slight issue with the game not wanting to load properly and me having to sort out why that was happening. But anyway, Chaos Drake Blood Greatsword. Yeah, four types of damage. It's not going to be good, even though it has 700 AR. Build Mask. Originally was going to go bareheaded, dragon form head. Was definitely an issue to reapply whenever I lost. Drake Blood Armor, Dancer's Gauntlets and Herald Legion Leggings, alongside Clonfy Ring, Business Chain, Life Ring, and Ring of Favor plus 3. Now, I just can't be bothered to really get the Clonfy plus 3, spawn it in or such. I just can't. I will do so eventually, I think. And the choice of uh, Dancer Gauntlets, I just said, you know what, doesn't really matter much. It looks nice. I'll have those doesn't show any skin and yes it was an issue to reapply the uh, buff each time between matches which is the main reason that I've decided to not go with that so regardless it looks like the person has actually loaded in and I can actually see them this time oh, are you really aggressive yes you are I don't like you already Pyra. But yeah, you can see the issue with the damage. It's not the greatest. Despite the uh, labelled AR of 702. Like, I will probably do insane chip damage, but then again, that chip damage is probably just going to get reduced. And since most of it's fire, if I encounter a black on its shield, I'm still probably done buggered. But yeah, I'm recording a bit later compared to when I normally would try to. Um, the reason for that is actually I wasn't too well earlier today. Not sure where it was. Probably a sort of cloggage of my digestive tract as I ended up eating probably a bit too much the prior night and I felt I got clogged up really. And I paid the price. I was in pretty... It was pretty bad pain after a while. It got worse the longer it went on. And, oh, we're up him again. Oh, is he, is he upset? Oh, he rolls in, does he? <laughs> Obliterated? Check. But yeah, I don't even carry a case this on this. I've just decided I'll just go pure Drake blood. Because it's a pretty good weapon, even if someone is being cheeky and quick steps you. Or similar. The only issue is... Its range is about 3 centimeters. I think its range is worse than the Hollow Slayer, but it does have the advantage of being infusible. And it's pretty damn light as well, so there's that. You can also technically take this thing raw and then buff it with crystal or lightning, uh, crystal weapon or lightning blade. And it will do pretty damn good damage. And if you can manage that on like the right type of build, you can get some very nifty damage. You can also buff with resins if you need to. It's not a bad weapon in the slightest. As long as you can make use of its shorter range. Because it has the same hyper armor. Just it is a bit meh. Unless you do certain things with it. In which case it becomes better than most of the competition. Stro is that the blacksmith hammer, you cheeky? What is this? He takes no damage. But slaughtered him. Perseverance is, now that I think about it, quite easy to counter as long as you're not dull. <laughs> Sorry to be offensive to the majority of players, but when they just see Perseverance and they don't do the easy way to counter it, you're sort of dull or just at least don't think well on your feet. I would say the solution to that is practice a bit and learn. Get one hit in, get out of there. And also, no, you can't break Perseverance through any means unless you kill them. I've hit them with stomps from Ultra Weapons and it will not knock them down. Fully charged R2s, it will not knock them down and they will continue to attack. Unless they, for some reason, run out of stamina. Regardless, it is a pretty insane ability for trading otherwise it can be a bit meh 
but it does allow a few interesting uses, such as on the Black Knight cosplay I had. Using it in R2's one hand in the sword. No one ex it's just for some reason. It's just it works weirdly. Oh look, a great shield. And it's the one that counters most of my damage. I didn't even hit the shield, I just flopped. Is he Is he really gonna... Yeah. Why, boy? Ooh, I thought that again. Oh, there we go. That's... A little inexperienced on my behalf. I have never really considered how difficult it is to fight a Great Shield. Like, it's slow, but doing damage for it is pretty difficult, actually. Well, this is going to get interesting, isn't it? Ooh, what? Why did my hit... Ah, uh, screw it, I'm not going to complain. Ooh. Blocking. There we go. I mean, I don't get why you do that. But GG, I guess. Weirder things have occurred, I guess. Such as the Cell Sword loot cosplay. But that was using the shield one-handed. It's a little different, I think. And, well, in my opinion, it's a little different. Now, what else is there to really consider about the build? Well... I decided I'd go for Chaos for the fact that dragons are most known for Chaos, uh, not Chaos, Fire. And Chaos is fire infusion based. The other reason I went for the Drake Blood? Memes. And also the fact that, really, knights that worship dragons. Do you think, it, like, I don't get why it'd actually have lightning damage, to be honest, if it's, uh... Then again, they want the blood of dragons, not the dragon itself. Mm. Regardless, there's a lot of stuff about it. Omen of Madness. That's a fancy name, boy. Will you live up to it, I wonder? <laughs> I can just R1 mash on the spot and I'd probably win. That's how absurd this weapon is. I just must seem like such an arsehole, just R1 mashing right there. Oh no. Ooh, that's different. He's gonna, yeah, he's always gonna roll out, I feel. And, uh, he's roll catching that. Well done, but next time if you are oh, if you're gonna spam that again, I'm probably just gonna give you a clap. Seriously, I don't like fighting lightning arrow. Like you know what they're gonna do if they start spamming it? They're just gonna try and roll catch you with it. But in that case, not happening, mate. You've all caught me twice. I've learned that you're gonna roll away and use it again, so I just have to rush him. Even with this thing's pretty bad attack, if you're just getting into it, I think he might have had the opportunity to roll, but probably didn't expect the attack so quickly. Probably actually maybe possibly expect me to roll in rolling attack again. No idea. Again, people probably adapt to the norm more than the uh, exception. So if most people roll when they run at them, it's probably they're going to expect so and so. When you break that, you get them off guard and you get hits in.
Can we choose an option to like choose which maps you want and don't want? Because I'd always just remove this one, but only this one. Okay, Drasirk. Come on. The R1 masher. Legend says he still goes R1-ing to this day. You're not flawlessing me, though. But, seriously? Does it R... Just two R1s, and I was like, ah, oh, I might... Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. If I see uh, Dressurk again, I'm definitely not going to fall for that again. I've learnt that. Okay, way to beat him. R1 harder than him and beat the living shit out of the edger. The edgy little fuck? <laughs> I don't like... I just don't like that gesture in general at this point. The only time I'll accept it is if a Abyss Watcher does it. And if it's a proper cosplay. If some random little peasant does it like that, I probably will. If they beat me once, I will probably just try really hard when I see them again. I won't change my build, but I will try a lot harder and use anything I've learned from the prior match. Oh boy, Sage's Big Hat. Dark Moon Blade, Gold Rank, Seistus. Oh, it's Gotthard. Ooh, fucking hell. I'm surprised that little uh, swipe didn't get him. Got ya. What? Um. Oh dear. His connection just went and decided. This is amazing. Dark Souls experience. I'm not sure if that was a lag switch or if that was just really bad connection because it seemed alright and then just poof, that happened. So I decided to check his uh, profile quickly while before I load that. Casuals everywhere, goa. Marriage incoming is the description I'm saying. Hmm. I wonder what this means. Still, goa, that's Polish as far as I'm aware. So either the guy's Polish or he's just using it as a meme. And I just realised, there's a dragon knight, I should probably use tailbone weapons, but, oh well. Because those are the closest thing, really, to dragon weapons in this, alongside the frayed blade, possibly. Then again, the characteristics of the dragon weapons in prior games were good bases in really bad scaling. What the hell? Oh, it's a uh, fumes. Come on, mate. Mal. He's got the poise. And I don't like challenging the fume. But if he's just going to do rolling attacks, I can catch. Because this thing's moveset is decent for that. Unless they're out of your range, because... Sir, your connection. Or is it mine? And saying it's been done. Yeah, you're just you're just AIDS at this point. So predictable on what he's gonna do. If I had a Seistus, I'd be using it to hell. Oh, he did something different. Holy shit! Yep, he's doing something different now occasionally. But the rolls are just annoying at this point. I never thought I could have such issues with this. And then I played against this. Oh, he did a regular R1. Holy shit. How did that not hit? Well, that's awkward. We're both one-hit kills. Come on. Finally. 
I guess I'll give you a bow even though that is probably the most annoying playstyle I've seen in a while. Like, it's not quite up there with Quick Step, but when you're using a Great Sword, it's not fun to fight against, because Great Sword can't be... Really, the, any Great Swords can't really deal with it as easily as I'd like. Because you can't pressure as effectively, but I roll away as well. Actually, I, I should have just rolled into the attack, and just rolling attacked him, shouldn't I? I'm fucking stupid. Oh well. I'll try it next time if I ever see him again. Which I doubt I will. But anyway, could be worse I suppose. In much, much worse is what I mean by that. So, let's see. We've got another five minutes to go effectively before I'm happy with how long this is. And, well, what else is there to consider on the Drake blood, really? Well, it looks good. It's light. Stat requirements aren't ultra high, and if you meet them, you can use the Black Knight Shield. And this is going to be scary, isn't it? Yeah, this is why. Even I fall for the fucking R1 trick there. Not the R1 trick, the R2 trick. That's what... It can come out of that so quickly and that I've... Oh no! Didn't hit him quickly enough. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting build there, Fat Man. <laughs> that's what I'd call it. But yeah, that build is pretty nasty. Or at least the Great Club is, rather. As a weapon, that thing is beastly at trading, and the R2 is, as far as great, uh, great Hammers go, amazing. It's actually one of the best moves in the game, in my opinion, but it's more because of how deceiving it is. You initially, most of you tend to mistake it as a R1, roll, and then get caught by it immediately. Plus it has good range, tons of hyper armor for days. Once it's started, you're not interrupting it easily. And that just means people will hammer you with it on and on again if you get roll caught by it. Because you're not going to just break it, them out of it. Like if they're wearing really light armor, maybe you will. But I'd say don't get your hopes up. And, uh, no, we haven't got an opponent again, have we? Where are they? I'm going to just have to move about a bit till they spawn in, aren't I? Ah, I see him. There we go. Dragon head. Wait a second. You know what? Fuck it, I will. <laughs> For the memes. And only because he's a dragon head as well. The what is he doing? I see that tailbone short sword as well, and this is like, ah, nice. Punishing this is gonna be hard, isn't it? Ooh, range isn't quite good enough. Yeah, he's gonna fucking flawlessness. Yeah, I hate fighting that weapon. Mainly because of the main trait of it being horrendously annoying to outspace. Also because that dagger normally gets me, but in all fairness he did it perfectly normally and he deserved the win because I'm a fucking idiot. And then he all caught me because I'm a giant spastic. Still, I hate the Farron Greatsword and I've played with it and I just don't enjoy using it either to be honest. Like, I'll use it to roll catch people and hunt them down. Yeah, the weapon. But, rather, I use it as a chase weapon, but I don't enjoy using it as a main weapon on any build. It's just not enjoyable for me. Well, I can understand the appeal of using it, but generally, no thank you. And those are bare legs, so he has got a loincloth under there. Tiny thunder. I don't think I even want to try the stance R2 trade. Yeah. 
Okay, that was painful. Oh, you fucker. How much stamina do you have? Does it again mistimed the counter-attack and decided I shall just get hit by it? I am a genius! One more match. I don't want to end this on a loss. I don't feel like ending it on a loss, at least. Because that would be a little annoying. And the fact that I've lost two ultra weapons now, really is not doing me any favours, but the fact that I'm using this thing is not helping me either. Fighting ultras with a greatsword in general is not fun for me. But using a drake blood in particular when the range is about 3mm is definitely not the highlight of this weapon. Or its capabilities. Fighting anything that is bigger than it that can break its poise, not fun. On a poise monster build it might just be bearable, but this is not a poise monster build. Of course, I have to fight the most poisiest of poise weapons next. Come on. Watch him just get me with his weapon out now, because I'm just fucking... What are you... Is that what I think it is? He's counting fire damage, isn't he? Ow. Yeah, I'm sure you don't go for the next one, but you can sort of... Oof, fuck me. That is one scary weapon art. If that hits, <laughs> you are buggered. I can poise break him with that, because that does some really good poise damage. Oof, fucking hell, that's like the... How many times have I been hit by a rolling attack? What is he... Is he going passive? <laughs> Come on. What the hell? I didn't mean to jump, to be honest, but that could have ended very nastily. Oh boy, this is... This is tense. Ooh, the charge star too. Mistakes were made for you, boy. <laughs> if he had uh, unlocked and thrown it the other way, he might have avoided that, I'm not sure. I would have had to go a bit further at least, I think. Good job to him, fusing a great hammer and doing that well. But either way, that's that I suppose, and well, thank you for watching. I'll probably be taking a bit of time now before I really get into something else in terms of build wise but thank you for watching and I shall see you next time and the next build will almost certainly include invasions as well bye for now